Hello students, today is all about the uh, minor scale or the, um, the minor mode it can be called sometimes um, and often minor is compared with major and fortunately for us uh, the major and minor scales are related and we're going to go into that uh, in more detail in this video today. So today is all about the minor scale. Okay, to get us started here, we're going to actually look at our major scale first. As I've said, these are related scales. Um, the, we're going to use our, uh, we're all trumpet players, we're going to use our C major scale. Let's just review C major. All the notes are natural from C, low C to high C. I'll play that for you. We'll just go up, I think, today for now. Our C major scale I think we all know that one uh, now I said the scales are related and here's how they're related um, we call them relative so C major is relative to a minor a minor is relative to C major so if we play our C scale but we start on the note a and if you don't know your low a that's just fingered the same as the high a one and two so we're going to go from low A to high A playing only natural notes. In fact, fortunately for us, this is just the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then A again. So here's the, uh, the A minor scale. This one uh, specifically is called the A natural minor scale, and it has some other names. Perhaps we'll get into that uh, in future videos. So here's A natural minor. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play that one down as well. So that's what minor sounds like. So again, C major, same notes, A minor, same notes. They're related, they're relatives. Um, but sometimes it's hard to hear the difference between the two. So I'm going to play you the A minor scale, the A natural minor scale that we just looked at. And then right after that, I'm going to play A major, and you're going to hear they sound quite different. Here's A minor, A natural minor. Here's A major. So how would you compare those two, uh, the sound of the major scale versus the sound of the minor scale? Give that some thought and we'll uh, go to another segment. Alrighty, did you give that some thought? What did, what did, how did the minor scale compare to the major scale? Well, some words people sometimes use to describe the two. Uh, major maybe sounds happier or brighter and minor sounds darker, maybe sad those kind of words uh, and then in fact that is often how these uh, scales or these keys really how these keys work in practice often the pieces that we hear in the major are a little more uplifting in terms of the uh, the feelings that they evoke and the minor uh, pieces tend to sound a little sadder a little um, dreamier maybe um, a little darker they, they kind of elicit those sorts of emotions rather than uh, the major scale, a little happier, a little more upbeat. So let's go over that again. We've got our A, A I'm calling it A natural minor. That's a lot of information there. <laughs> I'm saying A natural, but I'm not talking about the note A natural. I'm talking about the scale being a natural minor scale. And what that means is all of the notes are in the key signature because there's two other kinds of minor that we're going to get into as well. So natural minor means all the notes are in the key signature. Now today we're just going over C major and A minor. Those are the kind of the simplest ones, but you can do this with any major scale. So for example, let's just think about how we got from C major to A minor. If we play, uh, if we want to find a relationship between C and A, we can count up the major scale. C is our first note, D is our second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. 
So the sixth note of the major scale, if we play the scale starting on that note, in this case it's A, we get the, the related minor, and that's true of any major scale. Uh, let's try, uh, let me think of another one that we can do, F major. Uh, and if, if you're a little confused, in the red book, page 42 has a list of some of the major scales that we can try this with. But F major sounds like this. And our sixth note, one, two, three, four, five, six, is actually D. So D minor is related to F major. They are relatives. So D minor is gonna be those same notes. And if you're unfamiliar, this is just one flat, B flat. All the other notes are natural. So that's how you can get the related or the relative minor from a major scale. As long as you know your major scale, you can, you kind of actually already know a lot of the minor scales. You just maybe didn't realize it. All right. In the coming segments, we're going to look at different uh, forms of this scale. They, sometimes they borrow things from the major scale to make it sound a little bit different, and we'll talk about those. All right, so the first alteration, uh, we might call it, of the natural minor scale that we'll talk about is the harmonic minor scale. Um, harm harmonic, harmony. This is something that's often used in harmony, however, when we play it, uh, the scale itself, it has a very characteristic sound. So what we're going to do in the harmonic minor scale, we're going to take the seventh note of that scale, of the minor scale. So one, A, B, C, D, E, F. It turns out G. G is our seventh note. We're going to take that seventh note and raise it. Now you may not know this note but G sharp is what we're gonna play. You can look up the fingering in the back of the book, or I'm just gonna give it to you. G sharp is two and three. So we're gonna add that note to the scale, or we're actually gonna replace G with G sharp. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, and A. And that G sharp is a very characteristic part of this scale. Here we go, here's A harmonic minor. I'll play it down. Now this scale is particularly interesting because of that G sharp. It creates a, an interesting interval, which maybe if you're more advanced we'll talk about. But that F to G sharp creates very interesting character. I'm going to descend the scale and kind of play around with that, that funny interval there. Yeah, what does that sound like to you? Does that have a particular character? Does it make you think of something? Because movies and such, uh, you tend to use music from this scale. Uh, derived from the scale to again evoke certain thoughts and I wonder if you can uh, think if you probably think of the same thing that everybody else does I won't say it on the video but we'll talk about it in our follow-up session so that's a harmonic minor we take the natural minor scale we find the seventh note in this case it's G sharp and oh it's G and we raise that note so we make it G sharp the next segment we'll go over uh, one other form of this scale called the melodic minor. All right, so the second alteration to the scale that we see uh, is a little bit more complex uh, than the harmonic minor. This one again is called melodic minor. We're gonna change, again, we're gonna change that seventh note, the G, we're gonna raise that. That's gonna be G sharp. We're also gonna raise the sixth note. So we raise the sixth and the seventh note to create this scale. Uh, I'll just give it to you, but one, two, three, four, five, six. F is our sixth note, and we're gonna raise that. How do we raise a note? We make it sharp in this case, so we're gonna do F sharp. So now our scale has F sharp, 
and G sharp. Okay, so raise sixth, raise seventh. That creates melodic minor. Let's play that one. <laughs> interesting thing about this scale it goes up that way but if we're descending we're not going to raise those notes anymore in fact we're just going to play the natural minor scale on the way down so downward all the notes in this case are just natural so I'm going to go up with the raised sixth and the raised seventh I'm going to go down. I'm going to play just all the notes that are in the key signature. So those three forms of the minor scale, the natural minor, all the notes are in the key signature. The harmonic minor, we raise the seventh note of the scale. The melodic minor, a little bit more tricky. We raise the sixth and the seventh, but we only do that going up, going down. We play all the notes in the key signature. So we're going to be going over uh, both. We'll, we'll be trying some major scales uh, and then trying to find the minor. It's a lot to think about. Then we'll try the three different forms of minor on all these scales. And again, if you're uh, in the red book, Page 42 uh, lists out four major scales, and we can make up some minor scales out of these. And some of the notes we might not know, but we can look them up in the back of the book where the, the fingering chart is, tells us everything we need to know. All right, hope you had some fun with the minor scales. We'll see you on Wednesday.